All right, so today I have two batteries in need of repair. They're the P108 72 watt hour Ryobi batteries. And apparently they don't work anymore. So we're going to crack them open and find out what's wrong with them. As you can see on the meter, um, I'm going to give these a test. 4.74 volts, a little bit shy of 18. And it's not really giving us a good uh, number there, is it? All right, well. what's inside. There you go. A whole bunch of uh, INR 18650-20Q Samsung cells. A whopping total of, oh, looks like 10 of them. The battery meter still works. Says it's, uh, you know, almost empty, but yeah. So these work with a uh, 5S 2P configuration, which means 5 in series, 2 in parallel. So two of each of these cells are combined together to form one bigger cell. I'm not getting nothing off that cell. So. Oh, it's not good now, is it? Check our connections here. Oh, yeah, that one's pretty much gone. Of course, that one's connected, so it's, that's definitely gone. We got 0.5 volts on that one there. Point six volts on that one there. Point seven two. Ooh, we got one that's still at three point five. Wow. He must have really looks like he really burned this pack out pretty good. <laughs> um, so out of all these cells. We have these two in parallel, those two in parallel, same all the way down, and everything from here over is gone, <laughs> completely flat. I mean, under under two and a half volts is pretty much flat. Under one volt is even is pretty much gone. So yeah, these are these are all shot. These two are the only ones that are possibly keepable. Um, that's a shame. I was hoping to find it the other way around where like I had all these savable and then just one that was bad. Okay. Well, maybe we'll get lucky with the other one and we'll have the reverse situation. I can make one good battery pack out of all this. We got our MOSFETs right there. Those control whether the, uh, the pack is on or off. That way you don't under discharge your pack possible uh, those could also be burnt out sometimes but um, yeah I'm surprised that even still works considering how dead this is 
So our entire pack voltage, like I said, if you check right here, it pretty much has the pack shut off. You're not allowed to use the pack at all when the, when the cells are this low. So the battery management system in here keeps them shut off, which is why we're getting such weird readings. But if we access them directly, we should be able to check them like this. And we have a total of 5.35 volts, which is horrible. <laughs> All right, now that's that one. Now we gotta try to see if we can't get this one open. Whoops. This one's been through hell. Everything's falling apart. Okay. Gives us a chance to see uh, more about the pack itself how it's designed and everything. All right, as you can see, <laughs> we have um, a BMS system. Uh, this is all the circuitry that controls w uh, how much power is going out from the battery um, or how much is av allowed to go out. Um, if you try to use too much electricity, you know, you have a power drill that's uh, being used or a saw and you're, uh, you lock up the blade or you lock up the drill bit this will stop it from um, heating up the battery, heating up the motor, and burning everything out, uh, which is important for lithium batteries because if you overheat those, eh, you get explosions and things. And you also don't want to burn up the motor and your tools either, so it protects both of them, and uh, that's a very good thing. Now, this one also says it's got a still works. <laughs> uh, that's just because it, this is just seeing uh, a certain voltage on the pack and um, it doesn't matter whether you're, it's getting to here or not, it just uh, it lets you know how much is on the pack. Um, and according to the pack it's still like it said 5 volts. So if we test that, I don't know, this one's getting 16.93. Uh, that's a lot better than the other one. But uh, it says we're only getting 4.5 here, so I'm assuming the maybe the problem here is the MOSFETs are burnt out. Because if those MOSFETs are burnt out, it's not going to let the uh, the power flow efficiently. But their uh, IRF 1404Z MOSFETs. So those are pretty easy to replace. Um, like those are ridiculously easy to replace. We don't have to take apart the pack at all. Um, looks like some water got in here though. Some rust stains. Not too much though. It's not too bad. Um, I don't see any water damage on the board at all. So that's just uh, this is corrosion from the battery itself, but uh, either way, that's uh, it's not good. Having corrosion on a battery like this is uh, not great. That that can short circuit the cells, and we don't want that, right? So we'll take this first cell here and check it. We're at 4.08 volts. That's excellent. 4.09, excellent. Uh, we get down to this rusted cell here, and we have 0.669. Yeah, that's that's bad. That one's gonna have to be removed. We got 4.07 4 on that one, and 4.08. So awesome. We have the exact opposite situation, exactly what I was hoping for. So it looks like I'm gonna be able to take um, a bunch of the cells from one pack 
mix them with the, the one good cell from the other pack, and we should be ac good to go. Um, of course, I want to do some capacity checking on them, make sure they're at least a similar capacity. But um, either way, it should, get, it should make a good pack. And then um, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll buy some new, about 10 new cells to stick back in here, and I can make another pack live again.